Hello and welcome to my stream. I've said it once and I'll say it again. I stand, I stand by my point that there's nothing wrong with watching someone sleep as long as you don't commit any other crimes in the process. Like if, if no one knows that you watched them, they slept soundly, you saw someone sleep. What's wrong with that? At some point when I make it big, there's going to be all the times Halo gave bread money compilation. All the streams that you've given me money in have been have, have been lost now. I think someone might be on a hard drive behind me somewhere, but this was, this was, a lot of those were before I started archiving them. And even now, I don't archive much because there's certain streams that I just, you know, can't. Like the stream the other day where you could see Nick Ocado Avocado's arsehole. But I can't archive that on YouTube because I'll get in trouble there. You don't want to know what's on my hard drive? Bet there's some sketchy shit in there. There's nothing sketchy in it other than a few old old streams. I don't store dodgy shit on an external hard drive. That's internally because I want to be able to access it when I need it. I don't want to have to, I don't want to fumble around trying to plug cables in just to watch some grimy porno. You're willing to bet it's all Futanari hentai. There's not a single bit of Futanari hentai on my computer. Maybe, maybe, maybe in like, maybe like the, maybe the internet browser's cookies, but nowhere like actually saved. I would never download something like that, because why would I need to download it when it's so readily available on the internet? Later. You know how I mentioned a while ago, I mentioned that picture of uh, Sandy with a large penis sucking up cars. Just another, just another thing to add to all the manner of things that I have on my computer. I have that bitch on my computer, I think. I was going to put it in the video somehow. And I, uh, I couldn't because it's just, the entire picture is just, just rancid. Do you want to watch, um, watch, uh, what's it called? Doctor Who. I remember being terrified uh, by Doctor Who. I was a small child and I probably still would. And I couldn't watch the Weeping Angel episode because it was just like, it was like an actual horror episode. The fact, because they would just have these scary faces that would jump scare you all the time. And it's like, I thought this is meant to be like, this is meant to be like afternoon TV for the, for the, for the family. I think I used, to, I used to get scared about the Daleks and things like that. But also, in my defense, you know, uh, Swiper from Dora the Explorer made me scared and hide behind the sofa. So, <laughs> to be fair... I, I, I was, I, everything, I was very easily frightened. And when I asked, they're like, oh yeah, no, I just, I just appeared. It just, it just happened. Did I just, what? I think I just hallucinated a, an enemy demo running past me backwards. I've recently started, like, um, hallucinating, like, black figures in the corner of my vision just occasionally. I think that's something that I should probably be slightly concerned about. They don't usually get up to anything, and they don't do anything, and it's not like it's a, a problem. They are, sometimes they offer me wisdom in the form of flashcards. Imagine, imagine, imagine having hallucinations, but the only thing they ever do is like offer you help. But you never have to like revise or study for a test because you've got like your you've got your your demons. Maybe you have a goblin or gnome infestation. That could be a that could be a, pro a thing. That is a frequent. Fre oh, sorry, heavy. Sorry, it's not. Oh, I punished myself. A lot of stuff happened in my head right there. But no, yeah, the UK does have a, a huge problem with gnomes and goblins. The, uh, the further south you go, the more gnomes you get. And so further north you go, the more goblins you get. They're like the UK's equivalent of cockroaches. They get in the, they get in the walls. While I was out in town today, I saw an older man wearing a I don't need Google because my wife knows everything t-shirt. <laughs> I saw him twice and I wish I could have taken a picture of it because he looked like the fucking most sad human being I've ever seen following his wife around. How many, how many, oh, I was gonna say how many states could I get wanted in in America before going there and I could, I was gonna say all of them with one simple tweet. <laughs> I, I once, I downloaded Duolingo once to try and learn a language or at least learn some words in, in a different language and I don't think I have to tell you the language that I was looking at learning because I think you could probably guess just based on me. Um, but I, I, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll spare you the, the, I'll spare you the thought and say that it was, it was Japanese. Um, I was, I was gonna, I was gonna to try and learn that, and I stopped like immediately because I, you know, I just gave up. I was like, this is fucking, I'm not smart enough for this. I haven't got, I haven't got the brain power to remember all this. Learning languages is hard. I, I respect anyone who's learned more than one, and I respect anyone who's learned more than two, even more. And honestly. 
by the time that you're learning more than three, my respect dips because it's like, what else? But you surely you've got something else to do with your time at that point. It's like it's still impressive, but it gets diminishing returns. You know what I mean? What you're hiding. The more accolades someone has, the more they have to hide, is what I'm saying. Can I solve a Rubik's Cube? No. It's one of those things that I've kind of thought about doing once. Like, just learning. But then, like, I saw that... Then, then I, like, kind of saw how you would do it. And you, you, it has, like, everything... Everything has, like... Different... Uh, different, like, numbers and letters assigned to everything. And I was like, that's it's starting to look too difficult for me. The best way to do it is get one that you can peel the stickers off. Just re-solve it. Re Reassolve it, rearrange it. But the number of skills that I have uh, is remarkably low. I even start. I was even going to learn to juggle at one point. Didn't do that. Stopped that immediately. Tried it once. And I was like, this is hard, and stopped. <laughs> I don't see. I, I don't see why people made Rubik's cubes. I think it's just there to make people feel better than anyone else. It's just a way of making you go, hey, look at me. I'm better than you. I can solve a Rubik's cube. It's like crossword puzzles or Sudo Sudoku. What, like what? No one can. No one in their right mind cares to do those the only people who do those are the, are the sort of people that like to hold them up in front of you and say look i can solve this sudoku puzzle i give I, you know what i'll remove i'll remove crosswords from that because that's like that's just something that you do for you know that's like a that's like a, a random that's a knowledge thing anything that involves math or logic or anything like that you're just doing it to make yourself feel better but yeah sudoku i don't really get i was never able to do it on any more than like a basic three by three grid which might make you go that's actually the smallest grid it can be uh, and that's the bare minimum for being able to do a sudoku to which i say yes that is true i've never noticed this here pest controls uh, the, the rodent control station of the seven <laughs> it's <just> a shovel <laughs> what's my favorite game of all time Rugrats Royal Ransom on the GameCube, uh, Ga oh, the GameCube, not the GameCube Advance. Does anyone here have a favorite game? There we go. Boosted, do boost engagement. Do anyone have? A, who has a favorite game? Put this in the video, me. If you make a video from this stream, put this specific bit in the video. I'm gonna look into the camera and say, uh, leave in the comment section. Do you have a favorite game? There you go. Boost engagement. Don't do that. That's shit. <laughs> it's nothing. Leave. A comment in the video if you don't i will come to your house and open all the jars in your cupboard am i joining the naked bike race you know i joining the naked bike race you got a naked bike what, what? i'm not no i'm not even considered like, convinced i still know how to ride a bike to be honest i don't even I've, i haven't ridden a bike in a long time let alone doing it with a Doing it with a, doing it in the nip. I don't want people to see that anyway. I look, I look at myself in the mirror occasionally and just fucking I hate it. It's like no one, no, this is horrid. I got weird, I got weird ass proportions. I have. I got nipples that look like those. Uh, you know when you go to a like a theme park or something and they have those penny squashing machines. Why am I talking about my nipples? Why aren't you talking about them? That's the real question. This is Bread Corp Incorporated. Over here we talk about things that the average person wouldn't. We push the boundaries of what's considered normal. That's the that's the slogan of Bread Corp Incorporated. Pushing boundaries. 